Hello everyone, I'm Mr. MocaLover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the New Order, Last Days of Europe. As, and as you can tell from the thumbnail, we are playing a certain Russian nation. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Like normal custom game rules, everything's set to default, no idea what's going to happen. Uh, there's no historical AI on, so let's begin. So obviously we're using the New Order, Last Days of Europe mod. Colored buttons, colored events, stage hunter tool mod, and player of the peace conferences. Only five mods in this campaign, and to be honest with you, this is my very first campaign in this mod. So, to be honest with you, at the time of this recording, I have no idea what's going to happen. All I know is that Russia is like battle battle royale mode, so we'll see what happens. I have no idea. We start off with 51 guys in our army. Everything's very neon. We only have two research slots, so it's going to be great. Really great. Uh, it is 1962, so happy 1962. Uh, factory output must be, might be really nice to do. Factory repair speed. There's construction stuff as well. Max factories in a state would be really, honestly, probably better. Yeah. This one's better to do. Uh, construction, max factories in a state. Factory repair speed, plus 10%. Military construction. I'm going to go with civilian construction. I think that might be a little bit more fun. Even though military building would be kind of nice. But it won't really matter if we have enough civilian factories. So let's go with that one, if we can. And then... Oh, we can go with both if we really want to for now. Uh, mutually exclusive, factory repair speed, that could probably wait. What about a land doctrine? This stuff looks a little complicated. Engineering, what do we have down here? Research speed. Cool, let's definitely do that. We are definitely behind in terms of researching stuff. We have some free civilian factories. This is definitely different than regular Hoi 4, and the colors are making me all screwed up inside, but that's okay. I'm going to assume we might need like one, and then there you go. Cool. A focus. Return of the Emperor. During the, La the West Russian War, in the heydays when the Revolutionary Front could bring Germany to its knees, something unthinkable happened. From all the chaos and din was born Vyaktka, a radical throwback to the times before the Bolsheviks, a monarchy state in Russia that had lost its faith with kings and emperors. However, its existence might not be so paradoxical after all. The Reds have failed Russia, and now its people yearn for an alternative, a reaction, a hope, to hearken back to a time when the Germans feared them. However, we must pay attention to our immediate surroundings. The Grand Duke of Vladimir Kirillovich, Romanov, has yet to be crowned emperor. He bides his time, sharing the pain and suffering with the people of Vyatka, as gilded crowns and titles only offer cold comfort to them. Now, as I say, skies quieted. He has judged it an apt time to declare himself emperor and set in motion the rebirth and reconstitution of Russia, with him at its head. The two-headed eagle shall soar again, free and untainted from the failures of the past. And we are low on manpower, of course, so free military factories. We get the Wow, we're using guns from 41, Jesus. Oh, uh, looks like some sort of explosive, some, is that anti-tank it looks like, as well as some sort of that, that's cool. Uh, oh my goodness, what is this stuff? APCs, okay, anti-tank, that's good. Obviously, infantry equipment, support equipment might be good as well. Motor oh, these are motorized. Uh, howitzers, M30, lightweight artillery, huh, okay, cool, and this is probably some other type of artillery, right? Oh, is that, no, that's anti-air. Yeah, I wish it, would, it just says anti-air on them, it might be easier for us to read. Uh, that's a howitzer. We're, we already have the artillery, we already have motorized, we already have guns, we already have explosives. Or anti-tank. That's really just anti-tank. Cool. Anti oh, I, I almost never use anti-tank. What do we have for tanks? Anything here? Um, I, Infantry fighting vehicles? Which one is better? But shoot, I don't think infantry fi fighting vehicles are going to be that great. I think it's probably just best if we just use normal tanks. I don't think we can really afford them yet. What do we need? That's probably a better question to ask. Well, we have... I'm not really sure. So... For now, let's put another one on infantry equipment. That's probably good. And we have insufficient resources. The neon, I know people have already talked about this, uh, but the neon is okay. It's not bad. It's just a little bit too much neon everywhere. Let's see. You, Panzer Experience. Max attrition, politically connected. Oh, that's disgusting. Reckless, not bad. Artillery, bearer of artillery. I love artillery so much. Recon, ooh. Infantry officer leader. I'll go with you. Thank you. And even upgrades. Uh, infantry leader, that's probably best, but... Obviously, at the beginning of the game, and field marshal before we start. You or the other guy, Boris or Evgi? Uh, Ev Evgene. Uh, he seems okay. He's an old guard. I really don't like old guards. And he's better on this guy's better on attack. Cool. And obviously, we have the Aryan brother to the south. We have this guy. Order, Order of St. George. Oh my goodness. I think I found someone I need to play as eventually. Order of St. George. Can he reunite all of Orthodox Russia under one person? Oh, please tell me. Please tell me he can do that. That sounds like so much fun. Cool. Uh, I don't... I do not want it this far. Thank you. Yeah, these buttons are very... 
Very bright. Cool. And we can let time go on, but see upgrades low. Garrisons are high. And the current division that we have is not bad. It's 12 combat with. It has artillery and engineers, which is pretty good. Uh, we have this division as well, which is a little better overall, I would say. Yeah, it's a little definitely a little better. I want to train you guys. And we also have some light infantry, which I don't know. What's the difference between infantry and light infantry? Uh, a little more soft attack. It's probably just terrain modifiers, because this has more recovery rate. Uh, they have the same weight, though. They just use slightly more. Um, oh, these need... Oh, this actually uses anti-tank. Oh, that's different. Oh, we have elite infantry. Ooh. That is fancy. Cool. Um, I'm gonna say... Do we have anything in here that's different? No, let's just use you guys then. Cool. And rod of manpower. Cool. Uh, we need some... Oh, crud. We need support coming. Ah, that's what I kind of thought. Let's go grab... Where is that? Uh, right there. Oh, it does say... It does say it? It does sort of say it. Yeah, right there. You just gotta read between the lines a little bit. Yeah. Don't do that. There you go. There we go. If you can, go ahead and train. That'd be nice. Cool. So, like I said earlier, I have no idea what's gonna happen in this mod. I, this is my first campaign. I wanted something relatively okay-ish to play. So, that's why I chose a nation in Russia. Battle Royale Russia. So, should be pretty interesting. 1.1 per day. Oh. Return of the Emperor, which is good. Let's see. Oh, the Reformer. Goal for one more time was out in the streets of Vyakka, ignoring the dangers of the German bombing runs. He knew that he could seek shelter quickly. Um, if you want to read this, go right ahead. For Roman, blah, blah, blah. It would no longer be dominated by authoritarianism. Instead, the light of democracy would shine on West Russia, and a constitutional monarchy where the Tsar was a figurehead acting in the interest of the people would be established. A noble goal. Cool. A reformer. No oh, manpower, insufficient resources. And this is it. So with this mod, I know they've taken some elements from Victoria too. Actually, what this looks like, political laws, military laws, social laws, economic laws, and social, societal development, it's similar to Vic Vicky 2, which is awesome, but it's also similar to Hoi 3, where they had all this stuff here. Well, not all this stuff, like, uh, these rights, penal systems. I mean, they have education from Vicky 2, but stuff like ec economic law, sort of. Ch oh god, we have child labor? Oh man, I gotta play as a nation that has absolute child labor, that sounds like fun. Like I see, the Empire seems pretty good. We could always use more stability, right? Almost half a century ago, Russia was a great nation. A third Rome, the pre preeminent power of Eastern Europe. That was until the Bolsheviks came. Using their insidious cunning, they infiltrated the government and seduced the peasantry to their side. They had a noble emperor and his family shot dead like criminals and began a reign of terror that leaves its mark to this day, of course. Once they secured their illegitimate power, the incompetence with which the government was quickly revealed, and when the Germans came, they were swept aside like the rabble they were. Now, with Russia divided as it is, there comes an opportunity to restore its former glory, to destroy the last vestiges of the Red Menace, and return Emperor Vladimir to his rightful throne, to reclaim our rightful place in the world, and retake the lands that were lost under the corrupt regime of the communists. Absolutely. And uh, decisions. Oh god, what is this? Re reunification of Russia. After the German pillagers have shattered the motherland, what parts of Russia have not fallen under the German yoke have directly been shattered into a massive disorderly warlords, or battle royale time. However, our history teaches us that we are stronger when united, and it's only when united that we have a chance to stand against any enemies. It is necessary that the motherland must rise again. Sovereignty of Western Russia. We can research that. That's cool. New focus street. Oh my god. Raiding and looting? It's sadly a part of daily life. If, if you want to read this one, go right ahead. Alexander, no matter where he went, found himself being entangled in complex and political discussions. Or be congratulated for his efforts to lead the NTS. Uh, the path to reclamation is difficult. As he ended his speech and the convention began, he stepped down, took a seat, and once more thought of his achievements, Russia would turn to its former glory. He knew it. Cool. What do I do? What is that? Spend two monies? Oh no, not monies. Oh man. Uh, we can't do any of this except for scavenging for loot. As much as we can only have one loot. As such, we must already organize raids into neighboring territories to gather food, equipment, and resources. I kind of like to train new workers, maybe. We get a little more stability. Our industrial expertise and societal development will begin to improve. That seems pretty good, actually. Prepare against the neutral state of Voj Volod Vologda. Popular support. Since we return from exile, the Empire has gathered a number of perceptions from the Russian people. If we hope to restore Russia with the Emperor at our head, we need the people's support to do so. And support is currently kind of low. Cool. Um, must be at least very low. Despotism. Everyone loves despotism, right? Use peaceful unification pledge. Well, I don't know about that. Whole public speech probably be good. State of the economy. After the decade, two decades of loot buff of bombings of Russian industry, the economy was left in ruin, which isn't good. Oh, I paused it. If we are to rebuild and unite these lands, we need an economy capable of domestic and military projects. Oh, our economy is pretty low as well. I want to get more stability. 
Popular support by a small dot for... Ooh, that's not bad. Decrease economic strength? Oh. Purchase is a gelatos equipment. The Reich's last conquest. First man to land on the moon. That's kind of cool. So a space race between Germany, Japan, and the USA. Americans was able to put the first man in space, but the Fuhrer was proud to announce that the German landing firmly plants the Reich as a victor so far. Has the space race been won? You can buy equipment. Oh, that's kind of cool. More political power than nine. Um, that's cool. Yeah, with all this stuff here, this is, seems all very complicated. Scavenge for loot. I kind of want to see what happens when we do that. But it seems kind of dangerous. Oh, when removed. Oh. Go ahead and do that. Let's see what happens. Oh, the blues? I can tell you about the blues. How dare you turn against us? If you want to read this, go right ahead. The Reich lands on the moon one day. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. It's so hard to tell, like, what can you do and what you cannot do. Why is everything neon? I'm gonna... I'm gonna ah. Cool. One party state. I like that. We have the mechanical plant, which looks pretty good. Oh, someone strikes at Mr. H. A house divided. Oh, cool. And I do know, in, eventually, this Reich goes kaboom, which I think is pretty good. We have a stage. The return to the old ways. Oh, we have ministers up here. Replace... Replace, replace. No, we good. We don't want to replace them. Racial integration. Well, I don't know much about Russia and TNO. I can't imagine that there'd be too many different races here. I mean, it's not too far into Asia, so. Uh, he's named Speer, Speer as his successor. A new dawn for the Reich. Cool. Uh, very cool. This seems very complicated. Power tools. Throughout through the countryside, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Every dog has its day. Oh, Legacy of the Empire. Very cool. More stability. The Emperor's Speech. A Tangled Web. An economic graveyard from Berlin with love. In the aftermath of the war, the then Grand Duke then was startled awake by the screaming of bombers. The treacherous Germans had decided that the only means of keeping Russia on its knees was to maintain a terror bombing effort across its land. In the meantime, what economy Russia had was above village scale collapse, and as the people quit the roads and trade stopped. Factories were either abandoned or bombed. Now we lack even the essential means to fund basic, rudimentary civil service and military. While the bombing still continues, we can still take stock of our economy. The government has one task to evaluate our capabilities and natural resources and to look for directions to go. If we are to reunify Russia, we need a strong springboard from which we launch our noble crusade. For Vyatkov to serve that purpose, we must rebuild it and raise the people from the ashes up to their knees. Then and only then the people's other peoples of Russia shall look at it at envy for our wise emperor rules over it. Cool. 22 days. I like that. Not a long focus, uh, which is a good thing. We need... Ooh, we need more guns. We've got plenty of motorized. We don't really need too much of right now. That's okay. Uh, defeated the Mongolian people's friend in war. Oh, that's cool. Anything here? Not really. Speak on the radio. That seems kind of good. Uh, we currently have 17% stability. The war support isn't very high. And... Despotism? It's 49%. Jeez, 49% isn't too bad. Uh, elite tax exemptions? That's not bad. I have no idea how this money system works right now, so... What decisions can we take? Speak on the radio, prepare a raid against the Com Comey Republic. You can do that one. More despotism. That might be worth it. Scavenge for loot. Oh, we got one day left. Uh, where is it? Oh, right here. Prepare a raid? Oh, that's kind of cool. Initiate raid against them? Um, I guess we could try it. I'm not sure that's going to do very well for us, but that's okay. And I want to see what happens we got... We have two loot! Cool. Oh, we can build new schools! I kind of want to do that. Research facilities will begin to improve. Industrial equipment. Train new workers. Get more stability overall. New agricultural methods might be good. I'm not really sure which one's the best. I want to say schools are so you get more research, but still. Hmm. Maybe industry. Eh, let's do industry. Why not? Let's prepare a ray as well. They have one loot. Oh, I want their loot. I want their loot. Give me your loot. Speak on the radio. Uh, actually, let's see, limit exports, where can I change uh, some of this stuff? Oh, wow. Man, this reminds me of Hoi 3 so much. Holy cow. I never really got into Hoi 3, but Jesus, what the heck. Training, basic training, military planning. Can I go to, uh, limited conscription? Let's see, military, two-year draft, all adults serve, volunteer only, Dis uh, disarm nation. Which one are we on? Oh, hell, 483. Cool. Hmm, you... Uh, first step on Greek turn if you would like to read this, go right ahead. Cool. Low manpower, of course, we'll dub. Which one are we on? We are currently on military policy, two-year draft, 
We got a four-year draft? Ooh, that really looks like it hurts us. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we need to be a DEFCON 4 for that, I guess. That's cool. I guess we can't change this at all. Huh. That's a success. Great. We will increase popular support by a small amount. Great. Now we're at what? 49%? Still 49%? Okay, then. So what do we got going, going on here? Yeah, it's, it's really hard to read. Specifically, what is around here. Ooh, construction speed. I like that. Uh, peaceful unifications. We'll probably speak on the radio. I'm not sure if that's super necessary. An ultimatum. Let's go and do that. And... Uh, obviously can't do that. Let's see. One party state political laws. A common... Economy, economy laws, medium taxation. Oh, I don't like taxes. Minimum wage. Y'all don't need minimum wage. So we're on trinket unemployment. So I'm not really sure how to change this. It might be later on. Let me know in the comments below. How do I change all this stuff? I'd like to change stuff, but we can't. Oh, societal development, basic literacy. Uh, can I just choose and go to a uh, academic golden age? That'd be kind of nice. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, thank you. I guess we spend just political power on decisions, so, uh, yeah. Completed. Cool. I guess we'll speak on the radio for more support for now. Because this stuff is nice, but it doesn't seem like super necessary right now. They refuse tribute. Okay, start so a border war between us and them. Combat with 20. An economic graveyard. From, so it used to only be in the old wives tales that the demons with widespread wings would fly to the sky, spitting fire and brimstone down upon humanity. But now, almost every day, the skies are filled with such demons, only they cloak themselves under the name of the Luftwaffe. They bomb our lands indiscriminately, destroying schools and hospitals just as happily as factories and other industry. Twenty years, this menace has plagued our lands, generations of pots have come and gone over our cities. Whilst resistance was attempted in the earlier days, any anti-air emplacements have been, long been since destroyed or stolen by rivalry, rival raiding warlords. For now, though, our economic options are severely limited in such a face of aerial might, yet we can always attempt to lay some foundations. Our generals cer are certain that one day the Reich terror bombing will prove unsustainable, and when that day comes, we will be ready. One day these war criminals will face justice one day completely. Cool, and we're not winning. Of course we're not. Oh, maybe we will. Let's see what happens once these guys get over there. And we'll do another focus. Imperial austerity. The distillery. Ooh, I like that. Emperor's speech. Tinkled web. The great game. Oh, what is that? Utilize Okrana. I kind of like that. Form the Imperial Council. I like that too. Uh, support. Bishop. Mother Russia bleeds. Let's do... I like distilleries. During the, during the war and the bombing preceding it, vodka had become scarce as alcohol producers abandoned their distilleries and potato farmers retreated into substance farming to better adapt to the harsh realities of life in a chaotic Russia. Still, vodka is the Russian water of life and many people, not just Russians, would pay good money for a swig or shot of it. Its rarity and value meant that in some parts of the country, the good old liquor was still good, good old money. With this in mind, the emperor's proposed to the government two things. First is to plant and farm potatoes, providing the people with a food source and jobs as well as ingredients for vodka. The second is to rebuild and reclaim distilleries for vodka to eventually throw out it uh, in a steady stream. Doing both of these things, the emperor reasoned uh, which will let us create a new source of income by targeting a market oft ignored by our adversaries. The Russians are hard-drinking people, after all, and our adversaries will want it. Through trade, we will ensure a stable income, giving us more room and money to, for other projects so that we can one day rule over this land again. Vodka in hand. Please don't lose. For the love of God, please. This is the first border war. We're getting more army XP, which I love, but please don't lose. Come on. Good. Meng Zhang, declared war on the People's Re Re Revolutionary Council. Cool. Oh, looks like we're winning so far. Good. An imperial donation! Heroism should always be acknowledged. Increase the popular support by a small amount. Free aviators get an imperial donation. Cool. Oh, cool. Very cool. Still put 8. 0.84 in a day. 0.94. Cool. Oh god, they showed up. No! Maybe this is a bad idea. That's probably a bad idea. Yeah, this is probably definitely, most definitely a bad idea. Uh, cool. I just want to go to war with people, man. That's all I want to do. Uh, you need... Do you not have... Oh, yeah, we're probably going to lose this day in life in the Yakov Rukin. A silent prayer gets a dinner of the world. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this. Yeah, it's, it just keeps going down, 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 which really sucks. Yep, the raid fails. God, that was so not worth it then. Well, the attack, there will be a reckoning. Oh, boy. A voice said from behind Rifkin, a Jew, a Jew. Today, the Russian Protective Corps and the merry band of anti-Semitic thugs rest Rifkin. Eh, there will be a reckoning eventually. Just keep raiding, I guess. We have no loot now. Hmm. Big sad. Cool. Actually. Oh, look at that. We lost all that political power. Oh, the distillery. So if you want to read this, go right ahead. I just want to keep going on. Selling vodka to Russians. We may as well have liquid gold. Cool. 
Alternative uses. Improve societal development. Ooh. Build hospitals, support technologies, the Imperial Potato Act. Agriculture, research. Hmm. Imperial austerity, moderate austerity programs. Decrease popular support by some amount. Let's go with a tingled web. Let's go with the Emperor's speech. The Emperor is known for his frequent speeches on the radio. The time has come for another. He had been the one to initially propose the idea over the protest of several of his ministers and even had taken an active part in the writing of the address. Now we sat in the cramped broadcast room in front of an array of equipment going over every last detail in his head. How well he intoned the phrase. Should he linger after the sentence or move on? Perhaps this word near the beginning should be changed into something more impactful. Suddenly he's roused to his sentence by the man behind the glass window to his left. They were about to go live. After taking one last step, breath... The Emperor opens his mouth to utter his first word. Oh. Oh. How do I get more loot? I guess just raiding other people, huh? Well, now you guys are incredibly disappointed. Ooh. Is this enough? Imperial response. Go ahead and read this if you want. I can't read everything, or it will not get very far at all. So it is what it is. Thank you. I don't know. This ensures. If you want to read this, go right ahead. We could get a general out of this, which is nice. I really would like to read all this, but it's just, it's just too much, man. We lost men, we got a little bit of army XP. Really big and disappointing for this. Yeah, look how hard it is to look at this. How difficult it would normally be just to read that. It's a bit insane how everything is neon. Protest in Vyatka, how does an emperor do the right thing? I don't know. Ask uh, Equestria at War, they might know. What is that? Ooh, cool. Unrepentant reaction, cool. Mongolian Civil War. Cool. Hey, look at that. Vyatka Vodka. Beautiful. Oh god, we only have one civilian factory right now? Jesus. The Emperor's collaboration and avalanche builds on the horizon. Continue to page 5. Oh crap. The court tongue. Russia speaks Russian, and so shall the courts. If the Emperor can speak multiple languages, so can the court. It seems like it would be probably best we choose this way. I like the stability. Political power doesn't seem too much, so... This might have effect later on. I don't know. I just want to reunite Russia, man. Import new industrial equipment. That'd be good. Industry is important. Always important. Damage control, at least someone's doing their job right. Cool. Let's get that one done. So stop losing so much political power. A different approach? Send a letter, burn a letter. Let's see. He gritted his teeth. Something on his desk. Everyone's been hounding the Emperor. Burn the letter. So the letter on his right hand was something a little different than what he normally did. Uh, it continued an apology and a promise for compensation. Was a lighter. His position as emperor was crucial to him. His crown, as burdensome as it was, was his cross. Why is the of a wounded Jew be the breaking point of an alliance which would finally restore Russia to its place? Hmm. Send the letter. We can be apologetic. Uh, let's go burn it. Let's why not? Let's uh, let's see what happens. Hey, emperor speech. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Uh, people, we are not cogs in any machine. We and our animals behind it. Together, we seek to live, to love, to mourn. We are human beings, no matter how Bolsheviks or the Nazis wish to treat us. Ah, cool. More despotism, more stability. Always good. Always, always, always good. The bishop. Ooh, increases our support by a little bit more. Awesome. Mother Russia bleeds. Cool. Probably need that, honestly. Let's get the bishop. Despite his close ties with the Orthodox Church, historically had with the Russian crown, our relationship in recent years has been cold at best. We were no means enemies. Many in the church feel that the Emperor Vladimir has not been quite attentive enough to the concerns prioritizing the upkeep of the state over that of the faith. Some younger and more radical voices in the church have already left to Gaini, which is, they see as a pure expression of God's law rather than our state. Since the church provides a large part of our legitimacy, we must rectify this problem. Appointing a bishop of Yatka, in addition to confirming the Emperor's religious beliefs, would prove valuable moral guidance to the peasants, ever in danger of being led astray. Although symbolic, this decision would go a long way in terms of reaffirming our bonds with Russia's most sacred institution. Absolutely. All right. Oh, greener pastures. Perhaps we'd find something better out there. Ooh, that's not good. We only have eight political power. That is sadness. That is some serious sadness, man. Oh, what is this? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. We got plenty of fuel for now, which is fine. Uh, yeah. Anything here? Oh, okay. actually, we can buy some infantry equipment, which I was going to look at. I'm going to go ahead and buy some guns. We, we definitely need some guns. Oh, what is this? Oh, anti-tank stuff. This seems like it would hurt us. That's fine. Purchase some infantry equipment. So it's a thousand units. Nice. That's better than Old War Blues, where it just gives you 500, so. I kind of don't mind that. It did cost a little bit of political power, but it's only 10. It's not too bad. And we'll get that soon enough, so. Because our guys can really use them. Cool. Uh, 
you guys already, you don't need training, you're already pretty well uh, selected, that's pretty good. Uh, just keep building. The problem with this, I can't, s can we see? So we can sort of see how the production efficiency is going. I really don't like that. Yeah, I really don't like that. But hey, you know what? We're in Russia. At least we don't have to focus on our navy. That's kind of nice. That's actually pretty darn nice. It's only May 4th, though. Despotism slowly going up, which is a good thing. Traditional roles. Women in the workplace. Gender equality. Promoted gender equality. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What is this? Probably what? Oh, scavenge for loot. Oh, uh, you might as well, right? Seems pretty important to do. Always find new loot. Train new workers. Get new research facilities. Uh, oh, finally. So research is done. Mm, even more research speed. I'm thinking though, I've been I've looked it up on the Reddit a little bit that you might want to prepare against the Aryan Brotherhood, which looks like a great fun nation to fight or play as someday. So once I learn a little bit more about this mod, we'll definitely play them eventually. Let's play some stability. Amen. Amen, brothers. Amen. Uh, Imperial austerity. Let's do that one. So the Emperor has ordered his most loyal accountants to take stock of Vyatko's economy. Adjusting for low economic growth throughout the German's terror bombing, he is expected to be damaged, but with some sectors intact. When the reports came, he was startled to find that Vyatko has very little. Factories are run down, bomb, farmers abandon their fields, and return to subsistence farming. Only a few artisans practice crafts and other industrial methods. This has to change. To set the stage for an economic revival, the government has presented to the Emperor a plan for austerity. Though it may be hard to admit, his domain cannot continue to function without a steady amount of cash flow. As such, the government is planning to cut patrols, waves, and whatever little remained of its educational system. However, this is only a temporary humiliation for the Emperor has other plans in store, which is good. Always have goals, always have plans. And always try to understand where your place is in this world and what we can do about it. My goodness, we need way more military equipment. This is not looking good. When do I get the guns? And... Some sort of event is coming on. It's lagging so hard it might make the game crash. Oh, this is not good. Oh, there we go. Croatian Autumn. What will the future bring? Communist takeover of the Croatian state? Oh boy, that is Yugoslavia. That is... Is that normal? The government of national salvation? Hey, Tito's here. Hey, he's kind of older. Definitely older. I don't know who you are. Zlaus order failed. Untrustworthy... Oh. 30 rifles is what we ordered. Oh god. Well, I'm never buying from them again. Yeah, screw you guys. I can't get my orders, my, my orders in. Man, just just use drone delivery. Oh, what's going on up here? Oh, you guys are doing stuff up here too. Ooh, I kind of like that. You're not winning, which kind of sucks. But I can't. Really, I don't think I can really help you. So, oh well. God, we need more manpower. Scavenge for loot. Uh, please, someone try to fight us. I think we'll be okay if we are on the defensive. How do I raise my manpower? There doesn't seem like any way we can actually raise it up. Stream first, which is cool. Imperial austerity. What should we? What should we do? Mm, agricultural development or. Research facilities. And we do get two bonuses, which is nice. Industry is good. Hmm. New markets. Imperial austerity. A moderate program of austerity or an extreme program. Or equality before the law. Clinging to the past kill the Romanovs of old. Enforce the rule of law. Increase support. Cool. Decrease support. The rights of the aristocracy cannot be ignored. They will have their exemptions. Hmm. Ooh. We can increase it by a little bit. Authoritarian democracy. What what are we currently? So we're mostly despotism. Fascism, liberty. Da, da, da. Uh, you know what? Let's increase it by a little bit. Why not? And Imperial Austerity, a moderate program. Now let's look at this. So divert funds to the military, decrease support by a little bit. More extreme measures, increase economic strength, increase taxes. Uh, increase, increase. Ooh, more infrastructure. That's not bad. Start other recovery. I want to go with extreme. Extreme sounds fun. Because I did get some more support last time. So, decrease support. Let's increase support and then we'll lower it. So, for decades, even before the war, Russia has not been the type of place known for its moneyed residents. Most of its best and brightest fled long ago from the Bolsheviks, rebuilding their lives in Paris, New York, and Harbin, among other places. Although the Tsar wants owned a continent's worth of riches, this lack of support from the people of means has forced us to accept a much lower budget, even in anarchic anarchic Russia, there are ways of getting aid from the outside world. Sophisticated smuggling rings reach across from the Reich to Brittany, the black market capital of Europe, and as a result, we may be able to contact the elite emigres and establish relations with them. Many of these people still have found memories of the time before the revolution, and would leap at any opportunity to see the two-headed eagle fly once more. That sounds like a very, very good thing. But we'll see what happens, of course. Ah, uh, I could never get my guns, which really sucks. 
from new deployments. It's mostly from new deployments that need guns. But some of our guys need guns as well. How much manpower are we out? Wait, 55% due to... Oh my goodness, traditional roles. How are you supposed to fight any war with this type of stuff? Subjects, let's go up Brazil once World Cup. Congratulations to the champions. Collapse of the triumvirate. Hey, look, it was only a matter of time before Italy and its faction died. Can I actually request forces? I can't... Uh, reduce subject levels of autonomy. Can't request garrison support, huh? That sucks. Oh, decisions here. None of this. Up here, we can prepare a raid. Oh, is it really worth preparing a raid against a brotherhood? They don't seem like... Eh, they have a couple divisions here. Uh, Call me Republic, we already tried that. We failed hard. Tartar Republic. The Tartar Republic might be okay to do against. And the Islamic Republic of... Something. Oh, down here. These guys might be easy to take out then. I don't know why I chose the other group. 3 to 5. 5 to 7. You guys have 5 to 7 as well. Uh, the Islamic Republic, you guys have 4 to 6. 3 to 5, that's... A, oh, it's over a river, though. That is so bad. That's over a river as well. I want to do a raid. I want to win a raid, man. Tartar or the Islamic Republic. The best chance we have is against these guys. It really is. Because over here... Uh, they have no fighting vehicles, which is good. Let's just do this group down here. Go ahead and move down here first. That'd be fine. Get down there, and then we'll do it. We'll try it out. Give them some more organization first before we do anything else. Good lord, we need so much equipment. It's not even funny. Woo! Liberation of the peoples of Russia. Who is this? Uh, Vasily. Oh, they only... Okay, they only have three divisions here. So that's good, actually. Get ready to do that. And it'll be active in a, in a week. Emigrate support. Cool. Nice. Mother Russia bleeds. We could use that war support. We could probably use those guns as well. Oh, I'll do that one, then we'll go focus on the left side. So, ever since Russia was broken and torn asunder at the hands of the Bolsheviks, our homeland has been descended into a state of near anarchy. As people cower in fear of bandits and raiders while warlords carve out petty fiefdoms for themselves to rule with impunity. That our once great nation could come to this is a tragedy beyond measure, but that doesn't mean it is beyond hope of a recovery. Russia needs the guidance of a firm yet gentle hand, or handle, if it is to regain the greatness it once possessed, and the hand will be ours. Just as Peter the Great put Russia on the world stage over two centuries ago, we will honor his legacy by doing the same now. Sanity, order, and faith will be restored to our vast country, wherever the cost may be. Russia is our birthright, and it is therefore our duty to be its saviors. Good, good, good. Let's get there quickly. Purchase. Yeah, I, I'm not interested. If they're not going to give you my guns, yeah, no one's interested in that, man. Sorry. I'm not really sorry. Cool. And accept what we can do. Ooh. Hold public speeches. Scavenge stuff. That's not worth it. Uh, construction speed is not bad, but only like one civilian factory. Game or stability. Hold public speech. More weekly stability at the cost of war support. Uh, I'm just going to grab this one. I love, 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 love more stability, please. Very stable nation, as you can see. Very, very stable. They have a really good, well trained division, but. Our divisions are pretty weak-ish. Let's get Turkey declare war on the Levant. What a way to treat a former ally. Cool. Go ahead and go in if you can. Oh, Yugoslavia's at war. Um, should be paid. That's our sometimes needed to survive in the anarchy of Russia. Great. Great. We actually did it. And we have four more. Oh, we can do new workers, industrial stuff, uh, schools. Social development. Look at social power tools. Oh, we got power tools. Nice. Our industrial equipment is currently slowly improving at a monthly rate of two. Nice. It's going to take a while, though. Um, our development improves improve inside this category. If it falls to negative 240, that's not good. Basic literacy, research speed, factory output, no, outdated research facilities. Agriculturally, let's recruit a population factory. Let's improve that. Let's do mechanization or in agricultural stuff. There we go. Nice. I wanted to beat them up, though. How long does it take to do this not successful raid? So we currently have a successful raid. How long does that last? Eh, it's not a natural spirit. Officer infighting kind of sucks. That's okay. Oh, I hate these terror bombings. They suck so much. Well, only a 50 to 80% poverty rate. Holy cow. That is bad. That is really, really, really bad. But at least we're getting power tools. It's nice. Italian Emperor is defeated. Well, we kind of figured that would happen. Let's take a look. And Bosnia is here as well as Croatia. And Serbia is... What the heck happened to Serbia? I mean... 
Third puppet. On guns and giving? All is forgiven, I suppose. Mother Russia bleeds? Cool. Very cool. Seize illegal convoys. White army traditions. Not bad. Let's go back over here, though. Let me know in the comments below. Should we do the Imperial Potato Act? Which I think we might do. Or the alternative uses. Let me know in the comments below. It only takes 23 days to do, but let's do more extreme measures first. Unfortunately, it would appear that the actions we have taken thus far to rehabilitate our economy are not simply cutting it. Production is growing at a snail's pace. The average spending of our subjects hasn't risen by so much as a kopeck. And the number of caravans that arrived in our lands last month was in fact down from the previous. It's doubled. The situation can become much worse, but if we continue moving forward at this pace, it will certainly never improve. We must therefore tighten our belts even further. Infrastructure projects, welfare, any program that uses up government funds must be reduced in both size and scope. It is likely that the people will not be happy with this decision, but if we want to have any hope of a future prospect, it is one that must be taken. With all hope and God willing, this will merely prove to be the darkest of before the dawn. Which is a good thing. But unfortunately, that is all the time that we have today, my friends. Let me know in the comments below everything I asked you earlier. And things that I should be aware or know of before we get too far in this campaign. If you enjoyed the episode, though, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we will try to resurrect the monarchy, hopefully, somehow. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.